hello and welcome to today's video so basically today we're going to be going around loads of different book exchanges which seem to be the more common free little libraries here in the UK um you definitely still get the odd free little library here there but the book exchanges that have been converted from old telephone boxes definitely seem to be more common more of a thing and easier to find so that's what we're going to do um i found eight that are relatively close to us and there's a hell of a lot more that are only just slightly further away but today we've got a little route that'll take us about three hours to do in total and it's eight different book exchanges all within kind of like north worcestershire if that makes sense like they're all kind of above the worcestershire band of like the county of Worcestershire uh, so there will be a part two when I do get around to going to the others I think I found another 21 in all of like Worcestershire which is like where we live um, and I think I've, I've also got like some random ones that are still close to us but just not in Worcestershire so maybe there'll be a part three as well I don't really know but yeah for today we're going around eight and it's gonna be fun I will leave all of the like postcodes for all of them below and any information. I will say I managed to find most of these. There is a website online called The K6 Project and it's someone who is going around all of the UK just like as a hobby, like fun times, and cataloguing all of the red phone boxes and what they're now used for. So I just went to the Worcestershire section of that website and like you literally just hover over them and it'll tell you what you've been used for and I opened up all of the ones that said book exchange and then figured out the ones that were closest to me. Um, so it is a really great website and like it's got them on for like all over the UK. They're just like slowly going around the UK and plotting them. So yeah, I will leave that link down below as well because I found that really helpful to find these. Um, but yeah, um, obviously these are book exchanges, so I do have some books here that I'm going to get rid of um, and put in the book exchange. So I think we've got these three here, so that's Fire, The Thursday Murder Club and All Systems Red. They're all duplicate copies that I've got, like I've got other copies of these three that I prefer, so getting rid of those three. We've got some that I did a first chapter challenge of, we've got one that was an actual DNF and then all the others are just for various reasons i'm no longer interested in reading them so we're going to get rid of them uh there's 10 books here eight phone boxes i'm thinking you know that's a couple extra in case i do find more than one book that i'm interested in one and also obviously like i'm going with jay so jay might find books in some of the phone boxes that he likes as well jay likes non-fiction more than fiction so we don't think he'll find one at every phone box, but hopefully he'll find a couple of books that he's interested in also. So yeah, um, I'm now going to pop those all in a bag and then we're going to get going. So I'm just going to do this completely vlog style, like I haven't planned it or anything, but I just thought this would be really fun to do. Uh, kind of like a free little library tour. I see a lot of like American book tubers like doing that, but we just don't have many free little libraries by us. I think we've got about three in all of Worcestershire that are like actually on the free little library website. So yeah, this is the plan for today. Ready? Yeah. Let's check the door again. I checked it once and it was definitely locked. Okay, so we're at phone box number one. I'll just pull in here. Yeah. Which is right in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so we're now trying to figure out where to park so we can go have a look. So yeah, let's go look. Okay, I've picked a book out to go and leave in there. Let's uh, see what they've got. It's just around this corner. There we go. Jade's now having a good look. We've put our book on the top, but I didn't see any I wanted. Okay, so we didn't find books for either of us, but we put a book in there. Uh, it seemed really, really full, but it looked like someone had like shoved an entire laundry basket full of DVDs in there. 
which is why it looks so full. So I don't know. Uh, but yeah, first stop done. Joe's back in the car. We are going to head to stop number two, which is in a little town called Little London. So yeah, let's go have a look. We're going through Peavy Town Centre to get to the next one. We're going right over the river. Take a book. Yeah. This book. And go see what they got. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so Jay's sorting out the maps to uh, get us the next one. I picked up Poldar. This is Ross Poldar, which is the first of the Poldar books. So, give it a go. We're, we're here, we're parking up. Uh, almost drove past it, <laughs> but we made it to the third one. We did indeed. And Jay's enjoying his drive. Yeah. This looks like quite a, like a OAP type place, so I'm gonna leave the first emerge club. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. This is the phone box. It's next to a little egg and jam place as well. This is the phone box, Jay's now having a good look, but look at it, like, all of this. Back in the car, I picked up this book which sounds really interesting, it's like a sci-fi book. I think her sounds interesting as well, and I also picked up Clear Your Clutter with Feng Shui. Yeah, yeah, that was a really good one, it was really nicely kept as well. So. Definitely. Yeah. Let's uh, get on to number four. Number four. I think we're going to try and find a cafe or somewhere to stop on the way. So, yeah, let's uh, get going. We're now we're at post stop number four. four. Stop number four. And there wasn't anywhere to park. Near so we the phone box. So we know so in a car, park. car park. <laughs> we're going to go walk to the phone box. Okay? Anything to add? What are you doing? <laughs> Just walk normally. See, we both did it. <laughs> Jay's having a good gander as well. I am indeed. He's found one book. Here it is. We saw this at the cinema. Yeah. Okay, hello. So I left two in that one uh, and we've come away with four. Uh, I don't feel too bad because there's a massive, they got like a whiteboard in there. I tried to film, but because the hate was like the door was like came out and then there was like books, books, and then like a whiteboard. So it wasn't the best to film in, but really good choice really good selection so uh yeah left two books there picked up four jay picked up arrival uh we saw the film of this when it came out i think 
and if he really enjoyed it and he's recently got into reading fiction books again and found that he quite likes reading sci-fi so he thought he'd give it a go. I See, this one was basically a favour to them, really, because they've got too many books in there. Like, that's what it said on the whiteboard, there's too many books, so please don't leave too many. And this is book three of a trilogy, so no one's going to pick it up with eight books one and two, which they didn't have, I've already checked. So yeah, um, this is book three of the Night Angel trilogy, and I can't remember whose video it was, but like some point in the last week I've watched a video of someone saying like that this the, this trilogy is like really worth the hype, it was like really good, so but as I'd seen it, I would pick it up. And then I also picked up Ghosts of the Shadow Market. I'm currently like trying to catch up with Shadow Hunters, and I don't own this one. Um, I think I've still got... I think I've still got about five to read before I need to read this one but as I saw it I thought I'd grab it and then I also saw in there Twas the Night Before Christmas which I heard a lot of it last year I don't know if it came out last year or the year before but it's centered around Christmas time and working in a hospital it came out in 2019 I have no idea but I've heard a lot about it in the last couple of years I thought I'd give it a go and obviously the great thing is with all of these books and now that we know that we've got so many of these book exchanges close by if we don't like them we either donate books to charity shops if they've got space for them um but there's a few charities that um we like so we'd do that or we'd bring them back to a book exchange so if we don't like them we'll bring them back Okay, so we stopped off for some food and now we are heading to Upper Bentley to find a phone box that's there. <laughs> yeah, it's in maps, we follow in and hope we don't drive past this one. Put it in the phone box. was already in here but this is like one of our favourite vampire YA series and it's not very popular so yeah we'll put that back but I might get this one oh yeah I've heard of this one before this one's so cute it's like got little flowers in front of it and a post box at the side and this one's got like loads of different ages in here as well like there's like kids books there's like some teen books there's adult books there's even a few little dvds at the top and for short people like me they've even got a stool in there so you can reach it all Okay, that one was really cute, we picked up one book um, and that one was really well maintained as well and we had like some extra books because we brought 10 books with us but we're only going to 8 phone boxes so we left an extra one in that one because there was some shelf space. A lot of them have been really full so yeah. Um, now we're heading to one in Clent, it looks like this is the first one where it's more of a not in a rural area, it's like looks like it's going to be like on a street with lots of houses so yeah that's the basic plan head to that one next which is phone box number six so yeah we're really getting there we're yeah almost done but yeah been been good yeah we've found it jay's got a book to give he d he gets the honors of leaving murder bot yep. because it's thanks to him that we now have the hardback <laughs> yeah this looks really cool So I was looking at this book because I already own a copy but this looked quite nice but <laughs> Dear Doreen, the answer is still no, Keith. <laughs> I found the first Vampire Diaries book so I'm going to grab this one. There is also the walks in the file for you to use and if you can replace them after your walk you can enjoy. Got loads of walks in here for people to do around the area. How cute. Okay, so we just finished at the Clint one. That was a really nice one that was still being like really well maintained. So that was, yeah, really pleasant. Yeah. I found a book and we left a book. And we're now heading to Bell Broughton for the last book one stop. So yeah, we'll head there now. 
Okay, so we've parked up in a side street and we're heading back to the phone box where it's about to start raining. We've missed the rain the rest of the day, but I think we're uh, we're about to get hit by it. We are. Uh, but yeah, oh, phone box. really cute and there's a really nice bench outside that said like rest relax and read um from the bell Broughton historical society i think it was nice. um yeah but we've got one more one more to go to the one that we've already been to yeah so this is one we're going to next is in kutnall green um and we saw that one on the way back from getting food at one point which made us realise that these were a thing and research it and look into it and find that there's so, so many of them. Yeah. So yeah, we've been to this one before and I think last time I was there, I picked up the hardback version of the Thursday Murder Club, which I left my paperback version at a different one today. So yeah, we're going to go have a look. I think we've got yeah. one book left to donate. Final stop. Final stop. Let, let's go get it. No, nothing for me. There's... Come on then. Come on then. Okay, okay. I picked up Hold from that one. Sounded interesting from the back. Honestly, it's one that normally I'd do a bit more research in before picking up, but it was raining. So I'm going to pick it up, and if I end up not liking the sound of it, I can just bring it back. Um, but yeah, we've now got a book, bag of books. There are 10 books in here, and we started with 10 books. However, the 10 books in here when we started were all mine. And you've picked up a couple, so I I haven't got as many books as I. Yeah. You're gave down away. like three, and I'm up three. Probably something like that, yeah. but yeah. Um, it's been really good. So yeah, they're all in here. We'll probably do like a little mini quick haul when we get back, although we don't know that much about the book, so I don't know how interesting it'll be. But when we get back home, we'll do a quick haul as to what we've grabbed today. Yeah. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so we are back. I. I've picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. Here they are. Here they are. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go through them and say what I know about them. This is Ghost of the Shadow Market. This is Cassandra Clare, although it's this type of her book has been written by other people as well. There's like multiple authors of it. And all I really know is that this is part of the Shadow Hunter world and in about four or five books time. I'll need to read this one I'm, I'm reading them in publication order yeah i don't know a lot else about it because i'm not caught up but i recognize the title i recognize the author and i know that i'll need to get to it soonish then we've got twas the night before christmas all that i really know is that this is stories from working in a hospital on like christmas eve basically that's all i know i feel like i heard like Christmas times um it was like funny and that people enjoyed it and said it was good I don't know if it'll be for me but I thought might as well give it a go it's more than it's worth giving a go then I picked up Ross Poldark which is the first book in the Poldark series I don't know a lot about Poldark except for that it is a historical fiction and it is Cornwall in the 1780s and I didn't know it was 1780s I only read that on the back um but yeah I know my dad's watched the tv show but that's about all I know about it then this one I picked up off the shelf because it was shiny and I read the back and it sounded really interesting so it is called Century Rain and it says Verity Auger is a specialist in the archaeological exploration of earth rendered uninhabitable after the nano 
but when a field trip goes badly wrong she is forced to redeem herself participating in a dangerous mission for which her expertise is invaluable. A back door into an unstable alien transit system leads to an astonishing discovery. Mid 20th century earth preserved like a fly in amber. Is it a window into the past? A simulation or something else entirely. Olga is tasked with recovering the lost property of a murdered agent before it falls into the wrong hands but time is running out and she retraces the dead agent's footsteps across a Europe that isn't quite the one in the history books. Shadowed by forces that would rather see her dead, the last thing she needs is the attention of a struggling private detective trying to close one last case. Century Rain is not just a time travel story, nor a tale of alternate history, part hard SF thriller, part interstellar adventure, part noir romance. Century Rain is something altogether stranger. There we go. So I picked up Angel Fell. I've seen this. Dean the Rain, it's like one that I probably should have read when I was younger and I just didn't because it wasn't one of the series I prioritised. But it's still willing to give it a go or at least give the first book a go. So it's been six weeks since the angels returned to Earth and destroyed the world as we know it. When they fly away with a helpless little girl, her sister Penryn will do anything to get her back. That's it. I don't know a lot about it, but I recognise the cover. I'm willing to give it a go. I also picked up The Vampire Diaries, book one and two. This is like a bind up of books one and two. I wanted to read The Vampire Diaries books for some time. I have picked others up in charity shop. I think I currently own book five of it. But yeah, I uh, saw book one and two. So I picked it up. This is, I don't know if the TV show is based on the books or the books are based on the TV show, or if they both came out at similar times. Not sure, but it'll be a good time. I picked up Beyond the Shadows, which is the third book in the Night Angel trilogy. I'm not going to read the back because I don't want to spoil myself, but I picked it up because I'd heard good things about the trilogy. Do I own books one and two? No? And then last but not least, I picked up Hold. This sounds like more of like a contemporary book. Uh, I don't think it's set in like current times but I don't know I didn't really have enough time to properly look into it but the cover looked really interesting and yeah like it sounds interesting there's three girls and we're following them around London and they're all originally from Ghana I think but yeah I'm gonna look into this one more because I don't always gel with contemporary but it sounded good enough to at least bring back and have a good read about and see if I like the sound of it. Then Jay got two books, so... Okay, so both of my books I don't know if I'll actually like, um, but I figured I might as well pick them up and I can just drop them back off at a different one if I don't like them. So the first one is Clean Your Clutter with Feng Shui. Uh, I am a very cluttered person. I have a lot of stuff everywhere. Um, <coughs> <laughs> so maybe this will be the book that will help me figure out how to Figra. Not, yeah, yeah, How to Not Be So Cluttered. It's by, the author is Karen Kingston. I don't know what qualifies Karen Kingston to talk about feng shui or clutter. Um, I, I know nothing about this book, but if it's rubbish, I'll just take it back. <laughs> uh, and then this one is Arrival. I think the film was based on this. The fact yeah. that it says now a major motion picture. Heather and I saw the film at the cinema when it came out and we both very much enjoyed it. So I think it's worth a read. And what's it about? Um, aliens that come to Earth and a scientist or two scientists are like matched up to figure out how to talk to them. Nice. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was everything. That was hopefully a decent vlog portion. Don't know. Haven't looked for it yet. And a little mini haul at the end. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe down below if you'd like to see more content like this. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.